okay now we will see uh, one of the one of the feature which is introduced by uh, by sitecore in, from sitecore 9 onwards layering in the sitecore okay so there are different layers uh, which sitecore has introduced this is one of the feature which i think uh, uh, we 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 just ignore it okay when you move from one version to another version you keep the configuration file as it is right with lower version to higher version if you are moving from 8 to 9 you just keep the 8 versions of files as it is whatever patches which you are you have created and then you doesn't move those in the different layers okay so this is one of the good uh, feature which sitecore has introduced for developer uh, 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 to help the developers okay so let's see what is uh, layers so sitecore load all the configuration in alphabetical order thus we generally add our custom patches within the folder named z okay you must have observed that you are you used to create a z folder and within that you are used to add your custom patch file as, uh, as sitecore always update your uh, configuration as in the alphabetical order so for the so the latest changes should get updated for that purpose you, the last file should get updated so that's the reason uh, you add it into the z folder okay uh, so we prefix the patch file names with a z and so that the last file is used to override the final configuration from sitecore 9 onwards sitecore introduced concept of layers which controls the execution okay now sitecore has uh, divided all the configuration files into different layers okay and also they have used a rule based configuration which we will see in the next uh, uh, slide okay so these layers uh, they have they have whatever the configuration which you are having there are multiple layers which has been created by the uh, site for what are so what are those layers first is the site for layer okay second is the modules layer third is the custom layer and fourth is the environment layer so what what kind of a configuration files which we have in this all these four uh, uh, layers in sitecore it contains all default standard sitecore configuration file which are related to sitecore components and features files related to this layer is stored in the sitecore folder inside app underscore config folder so sitecore for layer has contains all the default configuration files for the sitecore okay so all those configuration you should add it into the uh, add in sitecore adds it into the sitecore file so what does the module contains this layer uh, this is reserved for a sitecore and it is uh, contains the configuration files related to the sitecore official module so whatever the new modules which sitecore adds those uh, modules configuration goes into the modules okay files related to this layer is stored in the modules folder inside the app config so app config uh, uh, inside app config you have modules folder all the modules uh, uh, files are stored into the sitecore so basically if you see here both this layer sitecore and modules this is reserved for the sitecore so whatever the default configuration that should go here then you have a custom now contains the patch files you create in order to modify setting the default sitecore configuration files related to this layer is stored in include folder inside the app config okay so if you if you see the old version where you used to create a z uh, folder so i do, uh, we do not need that folder you have you can create that into the custom layer so all the custom files goes into the include folder okay then we have a environment it contains the patch files you create to the configure site profiles for different environments so you have a multiple environment dev some non prod environment like dev stage and uat and then you have a prod environment so those prod related those environment related configuration goes into the environment folder so you have a different configuration for our dev different configuration for the stage different configuration for uat so all those configuration will go in a environment folder environment folder stored inside the app config so if you observe app config you have a sitecore module include and environment folder so these are the four layers which sitecore has introduced sitecore and modules are specific to the default configuration so ideally we should not be making any changes in this two folders okay we should not be adding anything custom is the one which is which is used by the developer so which all the custom patches all the configuration which are going we are going to change should come into the custom patches okay and then you have an environment where environment specific changes should go okay so these are the layers in sitecore sitecore modules custom and environment so these layers a sitecore module custom and environment these are added into the layers.config file so remember layers.config file is used 
to define the your layers okay so in the layers like you have you can define like layer name is custom include folder okay uh, is app underscore include folder this means this custom layer will be will be uh, taken from this folder okay best practice do not change the files in the site core and modules as i already told you okay and add your all patch files in the custom layer so you should be adding all your uh, custom changes into the custom folder sequence of a patch file execution how the patch files are get executed okay so first your site core files get site core for layer will get executed then your modules get executed then your custom files get executed and then your environment layer is get executed okay so by default each folder within that each folder files by alphabetical order so first site core within that whatever the subfolders are there that subfolder in the alphabetical order in that subfolder you, you whatever the files are there so each file in this uh, alphabetical order so similarly models custom and environment so last one is the environment so environment if you have any configuration changes in environment that will get override with everyone but this is the default execution but you there is a something called load order which can which will define if you want to customize that sequence okay then you can use this load order so basically if this is your uh, layer file then you can add the load folder load order here okay so now if you see here i have added that uh, in this configuration we have a load order where we define folder three type folder add path folder to slash my con my site code dot config file and folder one okay so how does this will get executed so in this configuration first of all folder three with all files okay so if you see first line is a for, for folder 3 so it will and it is type is a folder so all the file in that folder will get executed from here folder to slash my site config here first folder to my site file config only will get ex uh, will ex get executed okay then you have a folder one so then you have a folder one all files and then you are uh, then the all the root folder and the subfolder so this is how the sequence will happen okay so load order is basically used to load order will attribute is used to define how your uh, your uh, fetch files execution should happen okay so this is this is something which uh, uh, again uh, as i said earlier this these are the configurations these are the features which sitecore has introduced from sitecore 9 onwards but sometimes it happens that we you be move from sitecore 8 to sitecore 9 and we just just do not use all this uh, this configuration but these are the things which which, which will help you to manage to uh, your uh, sitecore configuration very easily it will help you to maintain it and it is very easy to troubleshoot here also if you maintain the if you use all this configuration like layers and the uh, load orders all those if you, you properly utilize in your project and it will, it will help you in the maintenance and the troubleshooting